We begin with the FDA authorizing booster shots for immunocompromised people. Now a CDC panel is set to meet today to make its final recommendation. As hospitals around the country reach their breaking point, Elwin Lopez is in Jackson, Mississippi, where they're converting a parking garage into a field hospital. Overnight, a major step from the FDA authorizing booster shots for immunocompromised people. A third shot authorized for Pfizer and Moderna for added immunity. The FDA saying other fully vaccinated individuals are adequately protected. Now a CDC advisory panel set to meet this morning and make their recommendation to Director Walensky, who has the power to greenlight the shots. Walensky saying this first go ahead would apply to a specific group of immunocompromised people, like those who have had organ transplants or cancer. This is a very small population. We estimate it to be less than 3% of adults. Questions now growing about when those shots could roll out for the rest of the country, as the U.S. is seeing more than 130,000 new cases, the highest single-day total since January. Nearly 80,000 Americans now hospitalized. Mississippi's hospital system on the brink of collapse forced to turn this garage into a field hospital for COVID patients. It's normally something that you only see in disaster war zones. I feel like we're beyond a disaster. You know, we're setting up a, a hospital in a garage. This as the crisis spreads across the South. Florida and Texas now accounting for nearly 40% of the country's new hospitalizations. North Texas out of pediatric ICU beds. Across the country, doctors sounding the alarm as more children like 12-year-old Brody Barnett, are landing in the hospital with the virus. Seeing all these kids on ventilators walking down the hallway, it's pretty scary. It ain't nothing to joke with. And hospital officials tell me there's already a waiting list for patients from other hospitals to come here. The first ones are expected this morning. Diane. All right, Ellen Lopez, thank you. And Mississippi has seen a 122% increase in hospitalizations in the past 14 days and an average of 2,867 COVID cases per day, according to the HHS. According to the CDC, only 45% of adults in the state are fully vaccinated. Vice Chancellor for Health Affairs at the University of Mississippi Medical Center, Dr. Luann Woodward, is here with more on this. Dr. Woodward, thanks for being here. I know it's a really busy time. The governor has just extended the state of emergency that was initially set to expire this week. So how bad is it there right now? What are you seeing? The situation in Mississippi is very serious and it is very intense. Um, just like you're seeing around the country, we're seeing every day our case numbers increase. We're breaking records, not the kind of records you want to break. The hospitals are full. The ICU beds are full. Um, we are deploying a field hospital into a parking garage and expect to take patients into that facility this morning. So it is a very serious and intense situation here in the state. Now, how does Mississippi come back from this? And how much does the vaccination rate, you think, need to rise for cases and hospitalizations to start to decrease again? Clearly, the way out of this path is for more people to get vaccinated. We have that will not if, if we had a big rush and a million people got vaccinated today, that wouldn't impact our numbers tomorrow or the next day. So the most important thing is for people to get vaccinated. Second and probably equal to that is to continue to wear a mask until we get on the other side of this surge. Um, we are at a point where we've got, you know, a little more than a third, um, I think, for the fully vaccinated portion of the population that's eligible, we're in the 35, 36 percent, the people that are 12 and older. So that means if you're in a group of 10 people, you know, six of them at least are not vaccinated. So we've got to at least double that. And it's it is a challenge, um, but but the the path out of this disaster that we're in right now is vaccination. Now, according to Mississippi's Department of Health, more than 4,000 students in the state are quarantining after being exposed to COVID in just the first few weeks of the school year. So, how concerned should parents be about their children right now, especially with hospitals they're overwhelmed? Parents should be very concerned. In healthcare, we are extremely concerned about what we will see in the coming weeks as kids get back into school and they get back into sports and all the things that the fall brings. Um, I want to be clear that 
that I believe, as well as the other healthcare leaders in the state, that the kids need to be in school, but we need to do it in a way that is safe. Um, so, so if I was, if if I, I have four children, they're not school age anymore. If I had children in school, I would be insistent that they wore a mask. Now, what resources do Mississippi hospitals and healthcare workers there need right now? We need staff. That's probably our biggest pain point is um, all types of staff, especially nursing staff. In a number of facilities, there are beds that are available, but they are unstaffed, so they are not usable. We need staff. The staff that we have are worn out. They are extremely um, fatigued from this last 18 months of the pandemic that we have been living in. We don't feel like we have caught up. From the, from the pent up demand that occurred over the last year. We are still seeing patients who put care off um, in the earlier part of the pandemic. So before we had a chance to catch up, this new Delta wave, Delta surge has hit, and yet here we are again in crisis situation. All right, Dr. Luann Woodward, we appreciate your time today and your work, thank you. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.